We're going to do the same thing we've done twice. We don't want to do that. Well, the Tropa City, uh, well, the Tropa City <laughs> Council, order please. Monday, May the 13th, 2013. Call the roll, please. Barfield? Here. Brown? Here. Carol? Here. Daughtery? Here. McManus? Here. Midnight? Here. And myself? Here. Thank you. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Heavenly Father, we come tonight thanking you for what you have given each and every one here, dear Heavenly Father. We pray that you will be with this meeting, that each and every decision we make will be for the betterment of the community. We pray that you will be with the ones, dear Heavenly Father, in our community and the lost loved ones or have ones that are sick, dear Heavenly Father. Not only be with the sick, but be with the caregivers. Be with our armed service personnel, dear Heavenly Father, on foreign ground and here in the United States. God and direct their lives. Bring them safely home to their families. We ask in thy precious name. Amen. 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 <coughs> Need a motion to approve the minutes of the 422-13. McManus and Miss Brown. Call the roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carol? Yes. Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And myself? Yes. Thank you. Citizens request. Mr. Cheney did call and uh, cancel his uh, presentation, but I think Lisa has something that she wants to. Uh... I do. Um, I'm here today on behalf of the Tropa City Council that the Institute for Local Self-Reliance does every year. And in 2012, they gathered data from 2,377 locally owned businesses across 50 states. And about half of those were retail. The rest were service providers, manufacturers, banks, restaurants, things like that. But two-thirds of those businesses had less than, had five or less employees. And their 2012 survey showed that an average of 6.8% increase in their business overall. However, the retailers only showed an increase of 3.7%. But in the communities where they have a Buy Local First campaign, um, they showed an increase of 8.6%. And so the Chamber of Commerce has um, launched a Buy Local campaign and so I have presents for you all. We have posters that we're going to uh, saturate our local stores with. And we have buttons for everyone. And I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but if we can uh, just kind of put it out there and everybody sees it, hears it, believes it, then um, I think it will help our local retailers and all of the rest of our business. And we agree, we agree 100%. I believe you. Uh, you know, uh, as I told you earlier, we had some people retire uh, in the last couple, three weeks, so... Uh, well, we actually, uh, you know, everybody's about nine o'clock or uh, whatever, so we actually bought each and every one of them a retard, a uh, hundred dollar Metro Buck card, and they can spend that about any place for anything they want to in the city of Dropos. So, uh, you know, we encourage everybody. It's a good thing, you know, those Metro Bucks. Uh, you know, I had some that uh, I'd gotten for. Uh, I think I actually won them in a raffle off of something, but actually I used it when uh, uh, I got my lawnmower uh, service for the summer and, and uh, things like that. I actually used them at Little Tractor. They're good for about uh, just about every business in the state of office. So 
I thought about getting my hair done with it, but I didn't. Mm. <laughs> Wasn't enough money. Wasn't, Wasn't enough money. Didn't have enough money. Didn't have enough money. Thank you, Mr. Carroll. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, at least we do appreciate, you know, what uh, uh, the uh, chamber does for the city of office and, uh, you know, for the, for the ones that actually read the uh, article in the top, I mean, in the Paducah Sun, uh, Sunday morning, I believe it was, might have been this morning, but I think it was Sunday morning on the Superman celebration. Mm -hmm. Like every other event in the city of Metropolis, if we had to pay someone to do the work that it takes to put on one of these uh, campaigns, we would have never be able to afford to have anything. Uh, Lisa and the uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen in the chamber and the executive board and stuff have met uh, for the last six months, uh, and uh, it's drawing uh, near, and uh, so uh, we're looking forward to the Superman celebration. There's a lot, there's a lot going on this year, you know, that's extra and stuff like that. So uh, uh, at least we won't be following a flood. We hope uh, during the celebration. So we do appreciate what y'all do. Mayor, could I say something? You sure can. Uh, along with that, uh, last week in uh, my committee, uh, I had uh, brought up about some ladies that walk, they walk every day, they pick up paper and trash along the sidewalks and streets when they're walking. That would be a good campaign. You know, that would help clean up. Instead of throwing out, clean it up. Exactly. And so uh, that, that, that's something to think about, too. All right. But that, they need the recognition of what they're trying to do. I drove the streets and I can tell the difference. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. First reports, mayor's report. Motion to accept purchasing new water holes for outdoor events such as Superman celebration, blues, and cues. I do <coughs> have some. Uh, quotes and things like that. Here's what I am recommending that we do. Uh, the hoses that we use now, uh, they are getting in uh, a little bit. Uh, we haven't replaced any hoses for a long time. Uh, we've repaired what we've got. Replacement costs on the hoses that we're presently using are uh, $103.95 for each 50 foot section and we actually use like at the Superman celebration we'll use about 1500 foot so my suggestion is that we actually uh, break that down uh, we can do it one or two ways uh, 30 sections of hose new hose is three thousand one hundred eighteen dollars and fifty cents ten sections which would be 500 foot, or 1,039.50. And I would either make a suggestion or a recommendation that we either buy 10 sections or 15 sections and cut that half, and then we'll replace more hoses next year rather than to replace them all at one time. That's the same hose we're using now? Same type, yes. I'll, uh, I'll make a motion. That uh, we buy 10 sections. Okay, 10 sections at $1,039.50. Motion made by Mr. Mizell, second by Mr. McManus, to authorize JK to order 10 sections, which would be 500 foot at that cost. And then, uh, of course, there's always some uh, connections and fittings and stuff like that that we actually have to use. Uh, we won't have to have near that many for the blues and cues, but we will have to have a certain amount of them. And uh, then next year we'll buy some more. Call a roll, please. Barco? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carol? Yes. Chrysan Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And myself? Yes. Thank you. Next item, motion to accept the 
purchase of a new or used welder. I think the used welder that we were looking at was, uh, I think that finally decided at $1,300. Uh, now, a new one uh, with the, uh, everything that goes with it is, I think $3,100. I'll leave that up to the, uh, I think we can get by with the used one, but I'll leave it up to the city council. Uh, How many hours does it have on there? Uh, Miss Daughtery, I think it has 223 hours. Well, is this Christian's welder? Yes. He told me 2,600. 2,600, okay. Yeah, it's an 8,000. That's what I thought. It is an 8,000, yes. Which that, is about a $3,500 welder, something like that, maybe four. And as far as I know, there's nothing wrong with that except it does need one seal put in it, which, which he said he would put that in. So I do, we th I, I do think we need to do something to, to maintain our own equipment where we're not having to go out and uh, use somebody else's. The other folks were yes. pretty much over. Uh, the, the, yes, there was a, about nine hundred dollars difference. But I mean, uh, we're, we probably have the money and the budget for uh, equipment. If you'd rather buy the new one, uh, I think the list price of the new one was thirty-two nine ninety nine dollars. But they actually said that uh, they'd give a two hundred dollar discount. Um, if we do it right away, which would bring it back down to about $3,100. Is that local there? No, it's not. It's actually tractor supply, but it, it was about $1,000 difference. Because we only have one place here that actually can, can do it. But We don't have, we have no welders at all that belong to us. It's not like that. Oh, we've got a wire weld, yeah. and it's not capable of build, welding heavy equipment. Well, and this this can go up to, you know, uh, to work on the uh, beds of the trucks. And if you remember, we actually built two beds, maybe three, uh, actually on the flatbed trucks that we bought that didn't have any beds, and Chris actually constructed uh, <coughs> all that steel work and everything with that welder there. And this red welder be portable. It is portable, and so the the the, uh, the new one is too. Yeah. Yeah. How how is this? Is you know the year or when they keep purchasing? Uh, well, with that many hours, it's he had a while. He's he's had a while. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. I mean, is he going to replace this himself so that he will have a new one, Chris does? He's going to buy him a new sure. one. Sure. Okay. So I mean, he's not going out of the welding business. No, 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 no. Because he's, he's gonna, still probably going to be our local go-to guy a lot of times. He does all of our welding yeah. now. Right. But he actually, I mean, he does it on our time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm open to ever what, uh, we just need to get a welder. So a new one is 31? I think mm -hmm. 31, maybe a little change, Jerry, but that's brand new and has everything that we need to make it portable and take it where we need to. That's got a lot of R's on it. Yeah. I, I think... I'd suggest go ahead and get a new one if we can get it that price. Okay, you want to make that I'll motion? I'll make a motion to that. I'll make a second on that. Motion made by Mr. Mizell and second by Mr. Carroll. From Tractor Supply, correct? Yes, I think, yeah. And that is in the range of 31 something. All right. We do have a motion. We do have a second. Call a roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carol? Yes. Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And myself? Yes. Thank you. Next item. Acknowledgement of resignation of Duane Gerzine, which is, uh, I think Duane's last day is the 17th, which will be Friday. Uh, uh, Duane's been a, you know, a valuable employee to us uh, on our line crew. He actually is taking a position with a smaller municipality, I believe in Kansas. Uh, so he will be relocating. Uh, we want to wish him the best of luck. Uh, and uh, it's 
it's going to, uh, he'll, be, he'll, he'll be missed. I mean, uh, Wayne brought a lot of knowledge, and uh, every time we lose someone that's got your 15, your 20, your 30 years of experience and stuff like that, it takes, it, well, it'll take 13 years to put somebody back in that position that will have the same uh, amount of what goes on in Sea Metropolis. We're fortunate we have uh, two young linemen that have, are doing very good. They're, uh, they're going through their steps very readily and doing a great job. They just got back from uh, another week's stay and stuff like that. And we actually get uh, written reports back. Both of them were well up above uh, in their classes. So it's something that, you know, it just takes time to build back to. So, uh, But we are going to have to replace you know, some linemen. We went back today and looked over records and stuff like that. We can't, we can't possibly make it on less than four or five linemen. Uh, it's virtually impossible. Uh, I mean, it's, right now we, we have a little bit of a kickback. We, we can use... Uh, couple of people that's actually bid out <coughs> and still trained linemen, but the only trouble with that is, and uh, Mr. Abel and I were talking about today, in a dire emergency, uh, that's fine to use them as ground men and stuff like that to aid somebody that's in the bucket and stuff like that, but you, we certainly don't want to put those guys that's not being linemen every day and jeopardize their safety and stuff in something that they're not used to right. doing. So. We'll have to move on from there, but we did want to acknowledge Dwayne and tell him how much we do appreciate what he has done for the city of Metropolis. Next item. Motion to accept closure of Market Street from Metropolis Superman Square through 8th Street from Wednesday at 5 p.m. June the 6th, 2013 to Monday, June the 10th, 2013 for the annual Superman celebration. So moved. Second. Now those streets, uh, just for uh, updates, we actually put down on Monday, uh, but they will be, the streets will be put back together, cleaned, swept. By 8 o'clock yeah. Monday morning, you'll never know we had an event up there. So. Uh, we'll just come in early. Uh, most of the time I've left it up to the men. Tell me, would you rather do it on Sunday evening? Would you rather do it on uh, Monday morning? They're going to have to come to work on Monday anyway so they can get up a couple hours uh, early and uh, get it done, and that way they have their Sundays off. So that's probably the way we'll do it. We do have a motion. We do have a second. Call the roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carol? Yes. Daughtering? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And myself? Yes. Thank you. Next item, uh, most of you already know the special announcement. I'm going to let Chris take care of the special announcement. She's, uh, she's dressed for a party and we're, we're going to let her have a party. Mm -hmm. We applied for an OSLAD grant. It's a very difficult grant process. And we asked for funds to build a new bathhouse to go along with our existing swimming pool. The swimming pool is in good shape. The bathhouse is not. And we got that grant. Uh, we, we were, the announcement was made Saturday. And it's $331,000 uh, toward the toward building a new bathhouse. Um, this type of grant is one where the city will be responsible for paying up front and we will receive half. So they're, they're saying that the building cost will be like 662000 to build a new bathhouse. The, the upside to this is this new bathhouse will be ADA compliant. It will be safe. Uh, in the 11 years that I've been down there, I've made notes on what needs to be changed safety-wise uh, to make it more family-friendly, to make it compliant, and um, we were fortunate enough that the state of Illinois agreed with us, and 
I'm thrilled. I am thrilled. <laughs> was, was this your first time to apply for that? For that grant, yes. yes. I've got others, grant. but that's the first one that that's the first time we've gotten an OSLAD grant. It's the first time we've gotten an OSLAD grant. They're very difficult. So yes. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward for a meeting for architectural drawings. Okay. <laughs> Well, and, and, and uh, Chris didn't say anything about it, but uh, actually, uh, there was a lot of hard work. A lot of Cheryl helped uh, uh, Chris write the grant, and between the two of them, they actually took a trip to plead their case in Springfield. Uh, and I think they got it because after all the co the crying and screaming and stuff like that, and they all the just had to give it to them and get them out of town. So, um, but that is a very, very hard grant, and we did get the notification uh, by mail today that it is official and we did receive it. Um, and uh, unfortunately, we would have liked to have gone. Uh, they actually had two announcements, one in Peoria and one in Decatur. And uh, when they first called me last week, uh, I, I, I wanted to go for the announcement and stuff like that. And then... Uh, they emailed me back with an invitation, and it was Saturday at 11 o'clock. This was Thursday. They called me, uh, and we had already made arrangements with FEMA to be here for our flood victims. And uh, as, as, as much as Chris and I would have liked to have gone, uh, right now, that right there was top priority for us to get that done. So, unfortunately, we, we didn't get to go. So. Uh, but we're going to get it anyway. So. <coughs> Corporate <laughs> council report. Do you have anything? No, no. Oh, wow. We're going to have closed session. Oh, oh, oh right this down. Sorry. Next committee report, Mr. Barfield, Water Light Street. Yes, sir, Mayor. This is from the May the uh, first meeting, and we have the following items to bring before the council. I will make a motion to accept the aerial mapping with pictometry in the amount of $58,079.50. And of this, I believe our share is nineteen thousand three hundred and forty-nine dollars. From correct. That's right. That's that to be right? spent okay. three ways. It's three ways. And it's to be paid over a three-year three period. Year. That's true. I'll second your motion. We do have a motion. We do have a second. Discussion. Call the roll, please. Barco. Yes. Brown? Yes. Carol? Yes. Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And Mizell? No. I will make a motion to accept the mosquito spraying and the hiring of Keith Stokes and Greg Bradford, sharing the honors, the hours of spray for the same cost of last year's rate of pay. Contract. Second. Motion made by Mr. Barfield, second by Mr. Midnight. Call the roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carol? Yes. Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And Mizell? Yes. Thank you. I will make the motion to accept an agreement with PDC Laboratories drinking water testing service for a three-year contract in amount of $3,930. Second. Motion made by Mr. Barfield, second by Mr. Mizell. Call the roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carol? Yes. Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And Mizell? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> this item was uh, presented by HMG engineers on our uh, sewer system project and we take a motion to approve the proceedings with low interest loan application to IEPA as presented by HGM, HMG engineers for sewer system projects. There was quite a discussion on this and uh, you know any questions will be forthcoming I'm sure. I'll second. Yeah, a lot of our questions come. Yes. We do have a... I will make that motion. And a second by Mr. Mm -hmm. Mizell. Discussion. 
I'm waiting on the discussions to come later. Okay. We do have a motion by Mr. Barfield, yes. and we do have a second by Mr. Mizell. Call the roll, please. Uh, okay. okay. That's the reason why I made a statement last week in our meetings that, you know, if we're considering this loan application, which uh, I think it's at this time to get a low, a low interest loan is, is, is the time to do it. But at the same time, we need to curb what we can in spending and take just spend the initial things for the city to take care of the city. And that's the reason why I voted the way that I did on that. Well, the low interest rate would be around 2%. That's mm -hmm. what yeah, the that's rate is. Saying. Right. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that. But there are a few deficiencies in it, too. I mean, as the sewer rates will have to go up somewhat on the water. We do have a yes. motion. We do have a second. Any other discussion? Call a roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carroll? Yes. Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And Mizell? Yes. Thank you. That closes our report. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda. Police and fire report, Mr. Carroll. Yes, Mayor. I make a motion to approve the matching funds for the small equipment grant in the amount of $386.28 for the fire department. Second. Made by, motion made by Mr. Carroll, second by Mr. McManus. Discussion? I just want to clarify. It's, it's not really a matching grant. $386 is the part that we have to kick in. Uh, the grand total of that project is $26,386.28. The grant was for $26,000. So I don't, the way it was worded is just a little bit confusing. I didn't want to make sure if I knew what we were spending. We're about to spend the $26,386. The paperwork has been submitted, and it's for $26,000 forthcoming. From the state, he said it could take up to 120 days to be deposited. Do we want to strike the match part of it and just says fund? It could be just excess funds. Uh, oh, match is fine. It doesn't. I mean, match is whatever you put in local match. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, so, it's the same so, way with the airport. We only put like five percent or two percent in. I just want everybody to be aware we were spending the twenty-six thousand yeah. along with it. Yeah. Okay. We're getting the twenty-six thousand back. back. Well, let's just use that as any other questions? Call a roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carroll? Yes. Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And myself. Yes. Thank you. Next motion, and we'll keep Chief Mars here to explain it after we get a second on it. Hopefully. Motion to approve matching funds for assistance to firefighters grant AFG in the amount of three thousand. $413, not to exceed $3,500. Motion made by Mr. Carroll, second by Mr. McManus. The exact amount of our part of that is $3,488. $3,488. The total grant was for, total project is $69,776. With a federal share of sixty-six thousand two eighty-eight. All right. We do have a motion. We do have a second. And we have clarification. Call the roll, please. Barfield. Yes. Brown. Yes. Carroll. Yes. Daughtery. Yes. McManus. Yes. Midnight. Yes. And Mizell. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Barr. And that concludes uh, my report, Mayor. Department heads. Frank? Ms. Press? Chief? Massey? Just a reminder this is National Police Officers Memorial Week. Wednesday is actually National Police Officers Memorial Day to honor the officers that have died in the line of duty. So keep them in your prayers, please. Chief Morris? I just want to let everybody know too, we uh, got our 
our Department of Natural Resources forestry grant was approved. So I will need a police and fire committee meeting sometime to discuss that. But that was $19,850. And then that's a 50-50 grant, which makes our share $9,925. So we need our time limit on that. Do we need to do it next week or? Uh, sooner would be better, yes. Okay, we'll take care of that. How's your construction coming along in your new building, Chief? They put two doors up today. They should finish the doors tomorrow, and then I believe Wednesday, I believe, the city is supposed to accept the electric meter and the service into the building, and then we'll start wiring it. So Very hot. Okay. we should hope to have it done within a week or so. Are you doing your own wiring? As of right now. Yes, okay. We're going to look and see if we've got the money left over, depending on how things work out, we may end up trying to contract that out just so it gets done. Not a big wiring job, but right now we're testing hydrants like crazy. So I understand. Thank you. Do you have any meetings scheduled for next week, Mayor? We've got a, uh, a bunch of FEMA meetings. Uh, uh, I know we got four on Monday. Tricia, we got any FEMA meetings on Tuesday? We got them Friday and Monday, I know. All these FEMA meetings. And all day Tuesday's free, Tuesday afternoon's free, and all day Thursday's free. And then we have some. Uh, um, <coughs> that's next week, not this week. Right. We may need a Waterland Street Committee meeting too that day. That's tentative, though, it's nothing permanent. Check, let me check in the morning and see what, uh, I, I think it's all right. I may, I may have a lunch thing. Yeah. Uh, I might be a little late. Uh, yeah. I have a meeting at, uh, maybe I can get it a little bit earlier where I can be back by one. I, I, but I, it'd be close. But I'll check with you tomorrow about two o'clock. All right. And you wanted a water line? Maybe it's, yes, possibly on the table. We'll just put it down for the question mark. Okay. Okay. Do, do we have any updates from HMG coming up? I would have an update from your department. Yeah. Um, actually, I have one thing to add today. The Amaranth from Phase 1 for the long-term control plan, they have uh, mobilized their start work. They'll actually cut, uh, saw cut the streets probably next week. So they are they bringing equipment in. And getting moved into a rent house. That's next week? They'll start cutting pavement next week. Yeah. All right. Did they move in? I think today was the day we're going to you know, activate. There's pipe and okay. some right. equipment down there. Close They're going to be moving stuff all week, actually. Okay. You, you've got equipment now but on between the 1st and 2nd on Gerard, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other department? Has Christy, you have anything to trade about? Uh, old business. New business. There's a Thomas Air Tourism Commission meeting tomorrow, 11 o'clock, up here in the chambers, right here. Miscellaneous reports. Financial report. Payment of salaries, payroll, and contract bills. Motion. Motion by Mr. Mizell. Second, Second by Mr. McManus. Call the roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. Carroll? Yes. Lowry? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And Mizell? Yes. Thank you. Payment of miscellaneous bills. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion made by Mr. Mizell, second by Mr. McManus. Call the roll, please. Barfield? Yes. Brown? Yes. 
Carol? Yes. Daughtery? Yes. McManus? Yes. Midnight? Yes. And Mizell? Yes. <clears throat> We need closed session for personnel, acquisition of real estate, possibly, yes. and sale, lease, or exchange of real estate, collective bargaining, also. I'll make that motion. Closed session. Okay. I should have just said all of them. <laughs> <laughs> we need a motion then to go into closed session. Right. We already got it. Okay. All right. Barfield, yes. Brown, yes. Carol, yes. Daughtery, yes. McManus, yes. Midnight, yes. and Mizell. Yes.